hey y'all welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to be showing you guys how i put these braids in my hair and believe it or not this is only two packs of hair two freaking packs of hair unheard of especially if you have thick hair but if you're interested in seeing what i did how i did it what i used then just keep on watching so let's just start off with what I use. First, I'm using the Spectra Easy Braid Hair. This is the 26 inch in the color T1B 30. I love this hair because it's antibacterial, it's pre-stretched, it's itch free. It is just like everything I'm looking for in a the hair. Then of course, I'm using my Blue Magic Organics Indian Hemp Hair Grease because I need to keep my scalp moisturized and all that good stuff. And then my Less Jam hair gel, and this is just to like smooth down my hair before I go ahead and do the braid. So I've already parted the back of my hair, and I'm just showing you guys how I make sure that my part is straight. I just use a mirror behind me, a mirror in front of me, or in this case, my camera in front of me, and just make sure that my parts are straight. And in the back, I section off enough hair to do just two braids because I do want these to be big and low maintenance. So. I'm using my Less Jam to smooth out the roots, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start braiding. Now, I would normally just start attaching the hair as soon as I start braiding, but in this case, I knew that I didn't really care too much about how it looked. So, I'm just braiding my hair a little bit and then adding the hair into it. It's kind of like the knotless braids that people are doing right now. So, this is just a close-up of what that looks like. Just taking a section of hair, and adding it right into it and as you can see this hair is already like kind of put together and it's because before I did this I was thinking about just doing regular feeding braids and I actually started doing feeding braids and I just changed my mind at the last minute when I had like one more braid left to do so yeah but this is basically what it looks like and Obviously, I did all of my hair except for the front. When I get to the front, I am going to go ahead and just kind of move my edges out of the way because I want to make sure that I'm not braiding my edges into my hair because I still want them to be there when I take these braids out. And in the front, since this is the part that people are going to see, I did go back to the traditional way of doing box braids. So I have a piece of hair and I'm taking out one third and just wrapping it around. So that way I have three equal sections that are all the same size. And I'm going to attach this directly to where my roots are. So in total, I did like 12 braids. I think it was six on each side. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I used only two packs of hair. This is literally the least amount of hair I've ever used. Usually when I get box braids, I need at least eight packs of hair. So this is definitely going to be like one of my go-to styles when I'm just looking for a way to get my hair out of the way and it doesn't take too long. Altogether, this hairstyle probably took me like an hour at the most. That's because my hair was already clean and blow dry, so literally all I had to do was part my hair into these jumbo sections and braid the hair. Once I get down to where the ends of my hair are, I do go in and add some more Let's Jam just to make sure that my ends are tucked away as much as possible and in place just so that I can make sure that the braid looks nice and neat the way I want it to look because I really hate the way it looks when your ends are like sticking out of your freshly done braids. It just does not look right. So I use Jam and just kind of tuck it in as I'm braiding. Now that I'm finally done with the braids, I can go ahead and do my edges. So that's what I'm doing here. And this is the final look, guys. Obviously, I did not boil the hair yet, but you do want to make sure that you boil your ends just so that they set in place. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.